you know you're going to be very near dead bodies. This could be me. All that hard work paid off. I'm the highest person in the world! I can't believe it. Thank you and the kids for always being there for me. I love you millions. I love you more than you'll ever know. She said to me, is, is there a storm up there? And something, something, I, said, I was like, no, no, I said, the, the wind's just coming now. And I can remember just thinking to myself, actually, it's, it's a whiteout now. I can't really see anyone. As I'm walking off the summit, I look up and there's someone standing there. And I'm thinking, why is he standing there for? And I sort of look around and there's a queue. Ant was just five minutes behind me. But that five minutes meant a huge difference. He was 15, 20 people behind me in a queue and there weren't 15, 20 capable climbers. Um, half of them didn't know what they were doing and were unable to move in those conditions. My feet were starting to go frostbite. My fingers were starting to tingle, go numb. The wind was now probably 60, 70 kilometers an hour. I knew Ant was behind me, but I wasn't able to stop and wait. It was impossible. There were 10, 15 people behind me all trying to get down the mountain. One rope, one way on and off the mountain. I was at the back of the queue with about 15 people in front of me that are taking five, six, seven minutes to negotiate this part of the ridge. I'm doing the maths and I'm thinking, right, I'm stuck here for a couple of hours. I'm going to freeze to death. My oxygen's running out. I feel like a kid, I feel like a child. There's this one person in front of me. He's literally hanging upside down off the mountain, pinned to a rock with just a fall. My legs were like jelly. My mind was in shock. I can remember looking down and thinking, how am I gonna do this? I've never ever felt like that before in my life, ever even in combat zones, even bullets flying over my head. People were just walking past this one person. And as I got to him, I could see it was a Sherpa. He had no oxygen on, and I just thought that he was waiting for everyone to go past. But he was in this state where he wanted to sleep because I grabbed his arm and he said, told me he was sleeping. I was like, you need to move, you need to move. You're gonna die. If you stay there, you're gonna die. And he sort of shrugged his arm off at me as if to say, go. I knew that he wasn't coming off the mountain. It was the first time I'd left someone to their death. Over here. 15 hours after leaving for the summit, Ant arrives back at Camp 4. You're alive, man. Back in hell. I you were dead. It's the most horrific thing I've ever witnessed in my life. Completely out of my hands. Last one on the fucking, on a Hillary step. People falling down. Sherpas wanted to cut people away. Fucking Sherpas staying up there, just can't get down. Ant has started to lose vision in one of his eyes. God was gracious to bless me with two eyes. <laughs> Believe in God now, do you? <laughs> one of these Hindu gods, yeah. Not the fucking mountain god.